Studies have established a strong link between asbestos exposure and cancers of the gastrointestinal system. Some researchers believe that inhaled asbestos fibers migrate from the lungs to other parts of the body, while others suggest that asbestos fibers may be coughed up and swallowed, landing in the lining of the gastrointestinal system. Gastrointestinal cancer tumors tend to grow slowly. In the earlier stages, asbestos-related gastrointestinal cancer has no obvious symptoms, but symptoms may develop as the disease progresses. These symptoms include blood in the stool, unexplained changes in bowel habits, severe abdominal pain, involuntary weight loss, persistent heartburn even after taking antacids. If your doctor suspects that you may have asbestos-related gastrointestinal disease, he or she may conduct one or more of the following diagnostic procedures, blood tests, chemistry studies, health history and physical examination, imaging studies. If your physician concludes that you do have asbestos-related gastrointestinal disease, he or she will discuss your prognosis and different treatment options, such as surgery, radiation therapy, chemotherapy, and hormone therapy, as well as advanced new treatments that are currently being tested in clinical trials. If you or a loved one has a history of asbestos exposure, you may wish to visit our Testing for Asbestos-Related Illness page. There you will find information on various medical tests available for confirming the presence of asbestos-related illnesses and abnormalities. For more information, please visit our online mesothelioma resource center at mesorc.com today.